Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at another building. This one is called the Military Base, which does contain some mods. There's this lovely thing sitting right behind me. So this is a very interesting set piece because it's almost like it's set up ready to have a PvP match held inside it. Or you could use this as a zombie tower defense thing where you set up a bunch of spawners from that other mod, gone what's called as it spawns a bunch of different zombies. And you can try and last as long as possible, or you really want to, you could have two different bases of different colours and just try and assault them with a large group of people. Anyway, pressing F10 and finding the military base in the spawn menu. This thing is 673 large blocks using the decorative block number two, the Warfare, Frostbite, and Heavy Industry DLC packs. We've got no other information whatsoever, so simply give this a thumbs up. We'll move round two while we're starting this door, move round on the outside. Now I'll just grab hold of my character, we'll have a look on the inside, and that'll be that. So my character can now get out of the way, there we are. This is what we get at one of the doors on the military base. So front and centre, what we got is our gate block, where we have two of them, which act as a security door to allow you to get in and out. We also have a lovely concrete ramp that goes all the way up to them, with some nice use of the railing blocks above there, with our modded guns right behind it. If we were to move around onto the side, this is all we can see. So we've got even more of our concrete blocks, even more railings. There's a rather exposed Hydra and tank. And all the way around onto this section, we've got a bunch of barbed wire and a few gaps in the wall to allow you to peer outside and hopefully shoot any kind of oncoming danger. If we were to move around onto this section, it's simply going to be some more concrete blocks with railings going along the top. See a radar dish spinning around in the background. Then all the way over to here is the other gate where once again, a double gate set up. And there we go for a very brief look around the outside. So what I'll do very quickly, just move all the way up and look down. So that is all we get on our stations. We've got two buildings. There's our hydrogen tank. There's our rotating radar and a flag in the middle with a couple steps to get up. And you see all the gun positions on each side. But now we can just grab hold of my character. We can come up to the gate and we'll have a proper look around the inside. So just opening this up, find my crosshair. There we go. Opens up to this little intermittent section. We now close this up and then open up the next. And this is going to reveal us our lovely base. If we just turn around for the moment and just closing that up. There we go. Hiding the HUD once again. This is what we first see. So right in the middle is our flag, which is why I think this is designed for PvP. You can imagine someone running up to this and desperately trying to paint it while being shot at by an enemy team. But yes, there's only a few really want to do that. Let me look around onto this side first of all. So that is our hydrogen tank. And we've got a bunch of beam blocks just underneath it to allow you to walk underneath it. And of course, you hide yourself if you wanted to. So lots of little sneaky places on the inside. And there's the underneath of our hydrogen tank. Then we can come around onto this section. You can go around, pass some cargo crates, and over to this part. So these are like your cover walls to go outside with your gun, shoot any kind of oncoming dangers. And the barbed wire should be just down there and all the way around. Turning around and looking at the building, we've got some lovely damage blocks on the side there. A doorway to get in and out. This is simply what we get on the inside, a battery down below, a little gap that we can decorate, but we're not going to be able to get too much because of how small this building is. So let's just come into here and find, say, like a chair. We can get a planter in here if we need to. So we can just go and decorate that a little bit. And there we go. Anyway, if we were to come all the way through and through the other door, now back to the middle where our flag is currently sitting. And those asteroids are very close to the planet. Anyway, this building with our rotating radar above it, we can open up. And it's basically going to be the same as the one we just saw. A very small interior that we can partially decorate unless we alter the building to be able to fit more stuff in. There we go with this one. Then onto the opposite side, it's going to be the same as the one we just saw. We've got little slits over here to shoot outside. We've got our freight crates on the side and our steps go all the way up. Just walking around onto this section, we get a fantastic view inside the military base. And outside here. There we go. We can walk all the way up to these guns. Unfortunately, we can't man them like so. There's no way to control these without a seat. So if you want to, you could plop down a control station, plop down a control seat even, and control them like that. But they'll just automatically shoot any dangers that come nearby. Just looking over here, we can just about see over the walls. We do have nice lot of protection there when shooting. And of course, crouching down, we might be a little bit exposed on top, but we should be fine at the end of the day. Anyway, moving all the way around and... All the way onto this section, these are our other guns where we once again got a very small cover wall to hide behind. And once again, our heads can be sticking out the top just a little bit. So they do have an eagle eye accuracy. You're going to go splat very quickly. And just looking around onto the building. There we go. Past our hydrogen tank. It's going to be a little bit awkward, but we'll naturally walk over it. So just holding forwards. There we go. And all the way up onto this section. 
And that's all there is to the military base. As I said at the start of the video, it would be great for like a PvP match or against zombies. I'm not too sure how well PvP would go because it is quite small, so I'm not sure how spawn points would do, unless you're just messing around with like say three or four friends and just want to shoot each other. But as for that, that is pretty much it for what the military base has to offer. There'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around it yourself. I highly recommend you do if you are interested in setting up your own little match, setting up your own little tower defense scenario. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.